There's no denying it. It's tough being a rideshare driver right now. The illness has caused some seismic shifts in the industry and demand is down. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna look at five money-making skills that you might have, which you can uh, pivot and make some changes and use these skills to make some money. And stick around, because at the end of the video, I'm gonna share with you one of these skills that I used to get my first assignment with the Rideshare Guy. Hey everybody, it is Jay Crater with the Rideshare Guy. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you five skills that I've been able to turn into money-making endeavors. Number one, no surprise, writing. So I've been able to turn writing into a, a decent uh, little side gig. Um, so if you are a writer, um, you can write articles for a blog, you can write articles for uh, a magazine, an e-zine, right, uh, for newspapers. Um, so you gotta kind of define your area of interest that you wanna write about, and usually you're gonna have to write like a thousand word story and then uh, shop it around. But if Number two, what we're doing right here, making videos. There are lots of uh, websites and uh, media outlets that want content, right? There's so many different outlets now and they're looking for content and video is uh, one way that you can deliver content. So if you're comfortable uh, getting in front of your, <laughs> your, your iPhone or your camera, putting on a mic and sitting down and actually, you know, creating something to say that's of interest, that can be of help to people, um, that's another thing that you can monetize. You can make money doing that. So Number three is speaking. If you feel comfortable uh, speaking, there are a couple things you can do. Um, and it, it's just, it's like writing is one way to express yourself. Being on a, on a camera is another way of expressing yourself. And just speaking like to create a podcast. So you might have a love of a specific topic and you want to start a podcast. It's not very expensive to start a podcast. There are courses that can teach you for very little money. And if you have a specific area of interest, you can create a podcast and then there are companies that will monetize that for you. It's not a lot of money and this is more of a passion project, but if you wanna uh, start expressing yourself in that way and then the things that you share in your podcast, you could also then write about and make videos about as well. They can all kind of work together. And if you're a really good speaker in front of a group of people and you got something to say, kind of like a TED Talk kind of a presentation, corporations are still going to uh, be looking for people who can deliver a message that's going to improve the productivity of their people, that's going to inspire their people, that's going to teach their people. And there are a lot Number four, selling. If you have any kind of sales skills and ability to talk to somebody and get them to go from what they're doing to what you want them to do, to not having a product, to having your product, to not having a service, to having your service, this is a hugely valuable skill. Most people are just too darned afraid to get into sales because they're afraid of people saying no. Once you get into sales, you realize that once somebody says no, that's where the selling starts. You wanna to get to the no so you can actually get to work and maybe convert that to a yes. So if you can sell, you can sell on the phone, you can sell advertising, you can sell insurance. I just dealt with somebody at Health IQ. They're selling insurance over the phone. Um, you can sell health insurance, um, advertising. There's a lot of opportunities to sell advertising. And finally, number five is coaching. If you have an ability to teach people something. So I did this uh, for a couple of years. I coached over 5,000 people in the, in the field of uh, internet marketing and uh, in personal development. And if you can help somebody to make their life better, um, people will pay you a lot of money for that. And there's all kinds of ways that you can structure uh, your coaching program. People will spend a lot of money to learn something that they very much want to learn, something that will make their life better, something that will give them health and happiness, something that will give them wealth, something that will give them a better performance. Uh, all of these things are, are, are areas that people will pay good money for. So what are the key takeaways here? There are five skills I mentioned uh, that I have personally turned into to revenue generating um, activities or endeavors. Um, but the thing no one really tells you is you're gonna have to deal with fear, right? Because you're gonna be afraid that if you try something and you fail, that's not gonna feel very good. Well, let me just get it over with. You are gonna fail and then you just keep on going. And eventually as you fail more, you learn more. And as you fail, you learn some more and then eventually you start to have the successes. When I 
uh, three years ago, was in Bali. I thought to myself, should I call this Harry the Rideshare guy and talk to him about writing? Uh, eh, I don't know. He'll probably say no. He's probably got plenty of people. I'd like to make videos too. He's probably got people for that. I don't know. But you know what I did? I said, screw it. I'm going to ask. And I did. And he said, okay, you can write a few articles. And that's what I started with. Then he was looking for somebody to make videos. And I put my hand up again. I said, I can make videos. And then he said, I need someone to sell advertising on the website. And I said, I can sell advertising on the website. And that's how it goes, right? But it all took me pushing through my fear and kept asking and kept asking and kept asking. And when you ask, if, uh, <laughs> if you don't ask, here's the bottom line. If you don't ask, the answer is no. So you got to ask. You got to push past your fear and start to make things happen. It's not like rideshare driving where it's so simple. You just, you know, sign up and you start driving. Uh, turning these skills into money takes you uh, pushing through your fears, getting out of your comfort zone, and that's where things are going to start to happen. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel, subscribe. It was great spending some time here with you. I wish you nothing but luck in turning your skills into money, monetizing your skills. I've shared five of those with you today. You'll go out and have a great day and be safe out there.